Okay, now a question from one of the Solomon papers, Solomon paper G, question number five, which is also part of my end of topic worksheets for my uh, classes at school, which is uh, worksheet number three, vectors. And it's also question five of that as well. So uh, here we have a question that says, two dogs, Fido and Growler, are playing in a field. Fido is moving in a straight line so that at time t his position vector relative to a fixed origin O is given by 2t minus 3i plus tj meters. Growler is stationary at the point with position vector 2i plus 5j meters where i and j are horizontal perpendicular unit vectors. Find the displacement vector of Fido from Growler in terms of t. Okay, so basically you've got to find the vector of how to get to Fido from Growler. Fido from Growler. So if this is your origin, this is Fido, and this is Growler, okay, we know the vector from the origin to Fido, okay, which is this vector here. I'll call that RF. And we know the vector from the origin to Growler, which is this 2i plus 5j. This is not to, not to scale. Oh, this is not like accurate. I've just drawn it anyhow. Okay, I could have drawn it accurately, but I didn't. Anyway, this is um, O to G. This is from the origin to Growler, which is, I'll call it RG. And they want us to find the displacement vector of Fido from Growler. So basically, how to get to Fido from Growler. So they want us to find this vector here. Okay, so what they want us to find is g to f and we can see that g to f is minus og plus of or you can say rf minus rg okay now they told us what rf is okay rf is this vector over here which is 2t minus 3i and tj and Rg, uh, the, the vector for the position vector of Growler is 2i plus 5j, so it's 2, 5. So the vector we're looking at, or we're looking for, is going to be 2t minus 2, sorry, 2t minus 3 minus 2, which is 2t minus 5, and t minus 5. That is the vector of how to get from Growler to Fido. Okay? From the displacement vector of Fido from Growler in terms of t. So we can write it as 2t minus 5i plus t minus 5j. And then part b, find the value of t for which the two dogs are closest. So basically they're closest when the distance between them is a minimum distance. The minimum distance between the two. Okay. And the distance between the, the two dogs is going to be the magnitude of the vector between Growler and Fido. Okay, the magnitude of GF will give us the distance. Okay, so let's work on that, work out that first. So you have GF, the magnitude of G to F is equal to the I component squared, so it's 2T minus 5 squared. Okay, this is the square of the distance between them. The square of the distance between them. 2t minus 5 squared plus t minus 5 squared. Okay, the square root of these two squared and added will give you the distance using Pythagoras. So I'll say the square of the distance and I'm going to say, uh, let, let's call that d. So that you're going to have d squared equals, and if you expand this, you're going to get 4t squared minus 10t times 2, which is 20t plus 25 plus t squared minus 10t again plus 25 okay that will give us if we simplify that d squared equals that's 5t squared okay minus 30t and plus 50 all right that's the square of the distance between the two dogs. Now, we want to find 
The question tells us to find what the value of t is for when the two dogs are closest. So we need to find the minimum value of this expression. Okay, the minimum value of this expression. Now the minimum value of this expression is basically, um, well we're going to find the value of t which gives a minimum value of this expression. So the value of t which gives a minimum value of this expression okay, will be the value of t which gives you the, um, the smallest square of the distance between feeding and ground level, which will be actually the same as the smallest distance between them. Okay, that same value of t will be the same value of t that gives you the smallest distance between them. Okay, so for example, if, two, if t equals, just say for example, two seconds, okay, is the time where the square of the distances is uh, the least, so that t equals two will also be the time when the distances will be the least. Okay, because if it's the least square of the distances, it will be also the least distance will be at the same time. Okay, so instead of putting a square root here and making everything complicated, we can say let's try to find the minimum value the minimum value of okay d squared of this 5t squared minus 30t plus 50 we can do it in two ways we can do it by differentiating okay by differentiating we can say okay 10t minus 30 equals 0 okay we know it's a minimum because it's going it's a quadratic so it opens upwards so t is equal to, well, let's do it step by step, 10t equals 30, so t is equal to 3 seconds. So 3 seconds is the time when they're going to have the minimum distance between them. We could also have done it by completing the square. We could have said, okay, let's take 5 out. So you have 5 times t squared minus um, 6, 6t six okay, and plus 50. So we'll have 5 and then we have t minus 3 squared minus 9 plus 50. That will give you t squared minus 60 plus 9 minus 9. Good, plus 50. Um, and so you'll have 5 times t minus 3 squared minus 45 plus 50. So 5 times t minus 3 squared plus 5. Okay, so when t equals 3, you'll get the minimum. And the value of d squared, which gives the minimum, is 5. So this will actually give you the answer to part d, c as well at the same time. But anyway, let's do part c. What part c says? It says find the minimum distance between the two dogs. So we know that the expression that gives you the square of the distance between them is... So we need to find what gf is. It's going to be the square root of... Okay, this expression that we found, which is 5t squared minus 30t plus 50 okay which is or we could actually put it in here as well, as well same thing this is probably easier it doesn't really make any difference we could put it in the beginning one here so we can put instead of instead of 3 instead of t you put 3 so 2 times 3 minus 5 squared plus 3 minus 5 squared which gives you, and this is, yeah, that's going to be the square root of, that's 6 minus 5, which is 1 squared, plus, and that's minus 2 squared, which is 4, it gives you the square root of 5. Okay, it gives you the square root of 5. Okay, so that's the minimum distance, so d is equal to root 5. And that's in meters. Okay, and that's exactly what we're going to get here. T equals 3, and d squared equals 5, so d is equal to root 5. So completing the square gives you both those answers straight away. Okay, it gives you t equals 3, and d squared equals 5, so d equals root 5. So there we have the answer to A, B, and C of that question. Thank you for watching.